a good way of describing what what we do. Uh, we've uh, really trying to make an effort to have allow the community to have unprecedented access mm -hmm. to senior officials mm -hmm. uh, to find out about what's happening, uh, mm -hmm. what the government is doing, especially in this administration where there's so much work happening mm -hmm. day to day that we get busy about that we oftentimes don't mm -hmm. talk enough about. Uh, and we've done that through uh, a number a number of ways. We uh, Earlier in this year, uh, started uh, organizing agency, what we call agency roundtables, uh, to make sure that the community had access to senior officials mm -hmm. to talk about specific issues, whether it's education or health or labor or the environment. Uh, and what this does is that initially, when you build those relationships that are so important, you then continue that on. So mm -hmm. we almost serve as that. Uh, intermediary, mm -hmm. uh, and we're also uh, we'll be beginning in 2011 and, and this year mm -hmm. uh, a community engagement tour mm -hmm. uh, in different parts of the country to engage the community, ask for their feedback on how we could be doing a better job. Have you done one yet? Well, we uh, were have uh, we been around the country and uh, speaking and, and at many different functions, often conferences and things like uh -huh. that. But these are the ones that we're organizing ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we were in Los Angeles back in October mm -hmm. where we st uh, held one of our first community roundtables mm -hmm. that were quite successful and want to take that same idea uh, on the road, so to speak. And also uh, we are focusing on key issues. Mm -hmm. uh, our commissioners uh, when they came in uh, mm -hmm. in September, we also have a commission mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of about 20 members uh, mm -hmm. from very diverse backgrounds. Uh -huh. There are uh, a few from the South Asian community uh -huh. uh, and uh, from Farooq Kathwari, who's a CEO of Ethan Allen, to Heinz Ward, who's a uh, NFL football player for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you also have Neil Katyal? And, well, Nick, Neil Katyal is uh, a part of our group of senior federal officials. Oh, okay. So we have a component that is uh, part of the federal government that works with us uh, uh -huh. to move things within the federal government. And then our commissioners, which is uh, would, who serve as a way, a further extension of mm -hmm. our our work in the community. Now, you certainly want the community to reach out to you sure. for you to understand what problems they have, what challenges mm -hmm. they have. How do they reach out to you? Well, there's a number of different ways. We'll be announcing our community engagement tour very soon, uh -huh. and there'll be opportunities if we're in your city uh -huh. to join us, which uh -huh. we encourage people to do. Uh -huh. uh, also, we have a website, uh -huh. uh, www.aapi.gov, uh -huh. and we're on Facebook. And we're always putting things up on Facebook about things that are happening. And we're on Twitter, and we're on YouTube. So there's a lot of different ways to be in touch. Folks, here are some of the health statistics for Indian Asian Americans, which is one in five South Asians lacks health insurance. Indian men are twice more susceptible to heart disease than the general population. I am case in point. Fourteen percent of South Asians report issues with diabetes, also double the rate of the general population. I mean, it seems like we have a uh, set of problems that are unique to us. We do, and I and I think that's a really good point. Uh, we just had a research and data convening, uh, the first ever that we've held for the Asian American community as part uh -huh. of the federal government, uh -huh. because when the president signed our executive order that created this initiative, uh, he said not once but twice uh, that we have to improve data and research to have a better understanding of the needs in our community. And because we are growing a rather smaller community than other communities in the U.S., oftentimes we get overlooked. So those statistics are shocking to you as they are to anyone who reads them for the first time. And so a part of this uh, convening was to, to build those relationships again between federal officials who crunch those numbers, yeah. and the community to say, we need more studies on diabetes. Mm -hmm. We need to have a better understanding of lack of access mm -hmm. um, to health care for our community. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, I was uh, diagnosed with high blood pressure at 31 because I have a horrible history in my family of heart disease. My, uh -huh. my grandparents in India and Mumbai died when they were in their 50s, so I never had a oh, relationship my. with them. And I, and I don't think this is unusual. I, as part of the Sindhi community, people often joke about the fact that uh, we eat the fried foods, we you know don't have a great diet, and even talking to my relatives, uh, and especially my mother, I have the hardest time getting her to eat broccoli. 
like or any kind of vegetables, right? I mean, <laughs> knowing that this is the, this is the history in our family that we really need to be more cognizant of that. Yes, uh, but uh, having taken a look at this, you have a number of agencies across the administration that are actually helping you. Right. They are on your, should we call it board? Or? Well, it's an interagency working group. We love interagency yeah. working groups in the federal uh -huh. government. So, But it's more than 23, almost uh -huh. 30 federal agencies uh -huh. who are a part of the work that we're doing. Uh -huh. um, they're required to create what we call agency plans uh -huh. uh, to, set, to show how they're going to increase access and participation. Uh -huh. And those are, will be available very soon for the community to give public comment and input off of our website because, uh -huh. again, the emphasis is we have these ideas. We want to, to make the government more accessible, but we need the community to, to, to participate, to participate, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Does the White House initiative has a component where it says that the agency should actively recruit the, from the API population? Well, they're working strategically to uh, to increase diversity in the federal mm -hmm. government, mm -hmm. and so uh, that's happening across the board. But in addition, uh, as a part of our executive order, uh, it does detail uh, efforts that agencies should should make to mm -hmm. increase retention and mm -hmm. recruitment mm -hmm. uh, of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. So that's definitely a part of what we're hoping will come from some of these agency plans in tandem with what. It's happening across the administration. We are also creating a fellowship program uh, mm -hmm. for young people to, mm -hmm. one way to be interested and get mm -hmm. interested in the federal government is to do, have, uh, to do an internship um, with the federal government. And in addition, we do get resumes and, yeah. and things like that. And, and I think right now what we're trying to figure out, quite honestly, is how we can make sure that uh, uh, we can facilitate that process of mm -hmm. there's a, a great pool of candidates, uh, and they're interested, maybe they